With your look around the Air Force, I'm Senior Airman Saomi Sabornin. The B-21 Raider rolled out in a formal unveiling ceremony giving the public a first look at the Air Force's new long-range strike bomber. It's a state-of-the-art aircraft that Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III says is the embodiment of America's determination to defend the Republic. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades. It is a testament to America's enduring advantages in ingenuity and innovation. And it's proof of the department's long-term commitment to building advanced capabilities that will fortify America's ability to deter aggression today and into the future. The Raider is still several years from being operational, but it will eventually replace the B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit Bombers currently in use. For the first time ever, three airmen got to fly the Lift Hexa, an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. The flight was part of a two-week familiarization program. The participants had prior experience with helicopters. The successful flight validated HEXA training for the uncrewed electric vehicle. The Lift HEXA is one instance where the Air Force is leveraging civilian partnerships for future military use. The Air Force Research Laboratory launched a multi-million dollar, multi-year, multi-industry partnership to turn flowers into tires. The plan is to extract natural rubber from the crushed roots of a specific dandelion species as an alternative to relying on imported rubber from rubber trees. Industry experts say the demand for natural rubber is about 10 years away from exceeding supply, and the Air Force needs a secure supply chain of rubber, a critical material for the production of aircraft tires. The domestically sourced natural rubber supply chain is expected to increase in the next five years. And that's your look around the Air Force.